Donkey Kong is a classic character who's never had trouble finding work, whether he's monkeying around on a Nintendo handheld or mixing it up in a Smash Brothers tournament. The Big Ape certainly has a solid resume, but some of his best moments come from his 16-bit exploits in Donkey Kong Country on the Super Nintendo. Donkey Kong Country Returns mixes the nostalgic with the new, but does this update shake things up in a good way? Donkey Kong's motivation is simple. Some weird little tiki dudes have brainwashed the local wildlife and made off with his banana horn. Level by level and world by world, the king of this particular jungle jumps, swings, and slams his way to the offending parties and delivers a brutal jungle beatdown to reclaim what's his. There's an alternate path in each area that you can access by purchasing a key from Cranky Kong's shop, but these extra stages are more of a fun bonus than a shortcut. Regardless of the route you take, each themed world looks and feels a little different than the last, and the game makes sure that each locale is both a variety of challenges and one or two unique standout stages. Pattern-based boss battles are consistently challenging and inventive without feeling too gimmicky, and toppling these opponents provides a real feeling of accomplishment. Another way to get your jungle jollies is by uncovering the numerous secrets tucked into every corner of the game. From the obvious to the downright devious, hidden areas and alternate paths reveal banana coins, hidden puzzle pieces, and letters that spell out Kong. The immediate rewards might not amount to much, but the thrill of the hunt could propel you to root out enough secrets to unlock bonus stages after you've fought your way through the main game. Hopping, bopping, rolling, and barrel blasting that defined the series years ago returns largely intact, but you're forced to use the motion-sensitive Wii remote, holding it sideways to shake what Nintendo gave you in order to pound the ground, blow hot air, or roll forward. Despite potential comfort issues, it works out well and even adds a bit to the experience, although linking the essential rolling move to a motion gesture does sacrifice some amount of precision. There's a lot of variety in the standard Kong-style platforming, with maneuvers like vine swinging and the ability to cling to specific surfaces, giving you a lot of vertical mobility. You'll also find an abundance of dangerous minecart tracks, which fans will surely anticipate and dread in equal measure, as well as gleefully destructive rhino riding bits and rocket-powered levels that require a fine touch. The variety is great, and once you get past the first couple of worlds, the difficulty swings toward the top. No matter how hard things get, the game gives you a chance to survive. Difficult sections often contain a one-up balloon, ensuring you won't lose out to attrition too early. Failed runs also let you rack up bananas and coins, which lead to more lives and more chances to get it right. No! Bosses pose a different challenge, but even the worst will give up hearts to give you a fighting chance if you've learned their patterns, but screw up your execution. It's a smart balance. Diddy Kong is also an essential aid when busted out of a marked barrel giving you some extra lift with his jetpack and eating two hits before falling off your back. You can't switch to control him like in the old games, but a second player can drop in as Diddy for some enjoyable multiplayer action. Donkey Kong Country Returns succeeds in terms of its presentation by updating and remixing elements of the old games. While the soundtrack in particular feels like an extremely close relative of the ones that came before, the game stands well enough on its own. The way the game shifts its perspective and facilitates interaction with its detailed backgrounds proves that this old ape can learn new tricks. And the dramatic zoom just before Donkey Kong KOs one of the game's bosses is enough to make you shake your controller in delight. Donkey Kong Country Returns capitalizes on the series' long absence with a bombastic comeback. It's a clever and challenging platformer that consistently hits the sweet spot between fun and frustration. You're guaranteed to rage in a few stops, but at the end of the day, it's still good to be Kong. Yeah.